What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Dalton. I ride and race bikes and this weekend is a big weekend. It is my first ever stage race. We are about to head out to Phoenix, Arizona. We've got three days on the agenda. First day, time trial. Super stoked on that. Got the TT bike set up. It's currently at Uptown. Uh, Max is messing with the extensions, working on getting a freshly waxed chain on there. The next day following that is going to be a 78 mile road race in the Cat 3s. And then the last day is like a 40 or 50 minute crit, I believe. And basically all the time is already set in stone at that point, uh, as long as you don't do anything silly and get blown off the back of the crit, then you're probably sitting pretty. That being said, time is important. So this is a general classification, proper GC style race. And basically what that means is it's time-based. So this is not an Omnium where you get like typically points for where you place at. This is time-based. So if you put in three minutes in the TT on your competitors, then you are up three minutes in GC general classification. We don't know who our GC guy is just yet. We are sending three riders out there. Poor Spencer cannot make it out. So he's going to end up riding the UCLA road race. Best of luck to that man's, but three of us are going out to Phoenix and we're gonna see what we can do. Whoever has probably the best result in the TT is likely to be our GC guy. And then we'll be riding for that individual. Uh, we'll see how it shakes out and kind of develop our plan from there. I'll walk you guys through what we're thinking as we do it since I'm gonna post this afterwards. Doesn't matter if you see it anyway and you're also riding against us. So with that being said, we gotta load a few more things up and then we're gonna be on our way over to Uptown Bicycles. All right, so as you can see, we're loading up the last of the critical items, your own. Um, anyway, we are about to head over to our favorite local bike shop, Uptown Bicycles. We're gonna meet up with everybody there. There are like 12 of us going, so I'm stoked. It's gonna be a good time. Everybody's cramming into one house. Damn, look at these boys. Gang's all here. What's going on in there, man? Tetris. <laughs> Boom, easy. That's how we do it. Easy. TT bikes in the back seat, baby. A lot of bikes. Lots of bikes. Lots, lots of bikes. What's up, dude? Woo. You ready? Ready for some racing. We can get people who smoke. Hello. gonna get on the road time to go to phoenix see you guys in a little bit yo what up mtv cribs this is the airbnb in phoenix uh, arizona <laughs> Show you the, we're gonna show you the, the bedroom with all the beds in it first, and we're gonna come down this hallway. <laughs> 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 a bedroom that sleeps five. Dope. Uh, the barracks. Uh -huh, the barracks. Nice. We got a closet. Who's sleeping in there? <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we got the couple suite plus one. Nice. So, you know, solid. Three. There you go. Or five. Oh. However, you wanna look at it. Follow me over here. The queen suite. Ooh. I'm gonna finish it off. This light works. <laughs> no lights. <laughs> Do that. Oh, no. Oh, not the fan. Oh, not the fan. We got the master bedroom, maybe mirror installed. Whew. So, I was dog ass tired last night and we got in really late at like midnight, so of course I did not uh, talk about anything. But anyway, we got the squad, the trainer set up, ready to go. Max is a, it's a team effort over here, pinning up our boys. Zach's getting dialed. Getting it? Getting yeah? It. How you feeling, dude? So far, so good. You stoked? <laughs> Zach's gonna make us all look terrible. <laughs> look at that. I think it might be too high. Exact spot you need it. What's up, Fran? Who's gonna win? Sorry. Us. Duh. Duh. Gonna pass like, Max. Max. 
So, here's a skinny. We're loading up the truck. Just did the TT. Boom, bikes. We're out of here. Um, yeah, I did 32, 20 something. Uh, not super stoked. So, overall, having some cassette issues, but I don't think it cost me that much. Um, three minutes off the lead, sitting 14th in GC out of like 40 something or whatever. So, it's going to be a long road in the road race. I really doubt we're going to make that up, but always be encouraged. So, maybe we'll try and get a stage win out of it, see what we can do. Uh, nonetheless. I still managed to hit 285 for 30 early season. Uh, for me, that's fine in position. Um, but yeah, headwind out on the way back. Pretty slippery, doing like 30, 31 for most of it, especially coming downhill. But yeah, poor showing for me. Uh, Zach killed it on the road whip. Don't let him pull you. I think Zach's sitting a few, few spots behind me. And yeah, that's the prognosis. I'll catch up with you guys later. We're gonna go get some food and then we're gonna ship it back to the house. Probably go grocery shopping, probably get more food. The plan is really just eating today. That's what we're gonna do. We're on a mission. We're going to Safeway. We're gonna get pasta. shitload of carbs all right good morning uh we're making some grub and then we're hitting the road race we got 78 miles should be three hours and some change we got like 12 bottles that we're gonna need to be just like replenishing calories constantly because 80 degrees is going to kill us that's super hot compared to what most of us are used to. We've got nobody really in GC, so stage win. Looks like the move. Um, we're gonna see how it shakes out, but if it's all together at the end, I'll probably just launch early, hammer it up the hill, see what we got, string it out, and then Zach and uh, Adam can follow along and see who can put together a finish. Zach's got the long sprint, it's a long uphill drag at the end, so the idea is that that's gonna be the answer. So, hoping to pull out a top spot today, staying on the top box.
All right. Just finished the road race. It was 80 miles. Uh, Zach got that pack finish. Uh, yeah, came out of the last corner. And then went like a quarter away, probably halfway up the climb. Then somebody hit it. And I was like, all right, that's it. So I let the group go up the field, or I let the field go up the road, and then sacrifice like, I don't know, 30 seconds or whatever. But yeah, that's the story. Uh, I don't know. Mediocre weekend. It's nice. though. Woo! Yeah, it is highest, the highest of vibes. Like, the vibes are at an all-time high, so that's the important thing. Okay, folks, today, uh, day three, Valley of the Sun stage race. We are getting ready, packing up the Airbnb. Uh, we are getting ready, packing up the Airbnb, and then we're going to get the heck out of Dodge, head over to probably a coffee shop for a little bit because we have to check out much earlier than the crit. Crit's at like 1240. Uh, we're stoked. This is our bread and butter. Uh, road race was not terrible yesterday. First lap attack was absolutely nasty. Um, I did absurd wattage, like 400 all the way through like the 4% section that kicks up to like seven, 8% and then everybody just started attacking there. So it was like already fast and then everybody's attacking over the top and I'm not all that light. So obviously not my best thing. Um, got popped off the back, but then we formed a rotation, a uh, nice little group, got back on right before the climb again, hit it, kind of the same thing, slinky a little bit, but everybody had been softened up by far. So after that, um, that was lap two uh, when we caught, we were coming on, yeah, coming right into lap three. So, and then last lap I realized, I was like, dude, this climb is gonna kill me again. Um, I don't want anybody to attack before that. So uh, me and Luke with Bicycle House jumped on the front and I was like, dude, I'm just gonna keep this like 20, 25 miles an hour. We kind of agreed. And so we're like cruising downhill, pedaling like 200 watts, um, make the corner doing like 250 and then I had basically decided like as soon as we turn the corner into the climb and start kicking up people are going to attack we know it's coming it's the end of the race last lap um, so we're all together and I had decided like I'll lead it as far as I can uh, on the climb I'll just stay on the front and then when people start attacking flying up over the top I'm gonna let it go and I'm just gonna chill so I passed a bunch of the guys that got dropped from cat two uh said what's up to everybody uh, I put me like a minute down but we were way off, or I'm way off, like, GC anyway. The leader and, like, some other dude put, like, six minutes in the field and soloed it. So, um, it's just weird with Cat 3 because you get, like, some random ex-pro rower or something who just has gnarly, like, flat power. And in these road races, like, that just works for them because they could just outpower everybody else. But also, it's February, and I've done zero threshold intervals to date since probably, like, September last year, so there's that. Um, but I'm excited because I feel like once we actually like all come into form uh, later in the season, we're gonna see some really good results. But for now, obviously, result was not that sick, like 28th or something for me. Uh, Zach finished with the pack, very solid. Uh, Adam ended up flatting um, and flatting in road race and having to chase for 70 miles is less than ideal. So. Hard day, um, definitely feeling it, but today's crit day. I'm encouraged, I think it's gonna be a good day. Um, yeah, going for a stage win. We'll see how it goes. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> when does this go? We're here the last day of Voss, ready for the Criterium. Everybody is tired, sweaty. It was all a very hot and sexy affair. Speak for yourself. I'm gonna Baja blast my brains out. Dude, are we going to Taco Bell? <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Nice,
about nothing, about nothing. <laughs> All right, dude. What's going on the tube? <laughs> Leave that out. <laughs> uh, just finished the crib. That was stage three. We're done. Thank God. Um, pretty solid finish. Adam, thank God this man drew me up. Got me close to this guy. Uh, yeah, break of like five, rolled it off the front. They had like a 30 second gap. That was just gonna stick. And then, I mean, once it was gone, it was gone. So we thought, all right, field sprint time. Um, I came out of the chicane on the backside. There's a long ass straightaway. And I just matched basically the speed of the front of the peloton as hard as I could. Uh, came through the last two corners just dying. Uh, stomped out the sprint. Like, you know, I was my goal was just get a quarter of the straightaway. It's about what I got. Zag jumped. Don't know where we ended up yet. We'll check in in a few minutes and show you guys the results. I don't know, but it's not a bad finish. Uh, yeah. Luke with Bicycle House got the sprint. Congrats, big dog. Oh uh, Yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll wrap it up. We're going to go vibe a little bit, hang out, chit-chat, and chill with squadrons of people. So, we'll see you over there. Bro, what, do you, what you got there? A little boiga. Whoa. A boiga? Just a light boiga action. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, crazy. Do you want anything? Whoa. I know they've got uh, burgers and, and broth. Lead out's got to come together perfect. And I see a white jersey coming in and coming out strong. Burning it up. Big power right there. Boom. Lucky number 13 right there. Corey Williams crushing it on the final lap. Taking home victory for Legion of Los Angeles. Weekend verdict. Pretty good, G? Bikes are pretty cool. I think so.